Welcome to another Safish Airs podcast and this time around I want to compare the old flagship Safish X device, the Sony Xperia X, together with a new addition to the Safish X program, the Sony Xperia XA2. These two phones are basically two years apart because this one, the X came out 2016 and the new XA2 came out at the beginning of 2018. And what you can see here on first glance, this is the black model and this is the gray model, so there is a difference. But also in terms of size, you can see that this only features a smaller display, so a 5-inch display. And this one here has a 5.2-inch display. Both have the same resolution, so basically this should be a little, little less sharp than the X. But in general, you won't notice any big differences when it comes to this. So the height is different as you can see here. The thickness is also different and this is due to the bigger larger battery in the XA2 which, feature, which features a 3300 milliampere hours battery and you can see this maybe when I'm holding this side by side but on the bottom you can see it pretty much. And when we are talking about the bottom, you can see another difference in here. This one features um, USB-C and this is still micro USB. Both USB 2.0, so nothing to brag about. This one has a uh, bottom firing speaker, which should be a little bit louder than the front firing speakers of the X. It has two speakers, as you can see here, one on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, the earpiece also includes a speaker. <coughs> then. When it comes to the front, you can see that we have a, a camera. Uh, it looks a little bit larger, but in, in reality, this is featuring an 8 megapixel camera with um, a 1 over 4 inch size sensor f2.4. And this, the Xperia X, has a uh, 13 megapixel f2.0, 20 millimeter wide angle, 1 over 3 inch uh, sensor for the front camera. So in theory, this one should make or take better shots than this one, especially in low light. Uh, when we turn the Xperia's, both of those Xperia's to the back, you can see a uh, different color, of course. You can see the Xperia logo. You can see that there's a fingerprint reader on the back of the device. On the Xperia X, we have this fingerprint reader on the side on, of the device included in the power button. And uh, when it comes to camera tech, basically on the back we have the same camera tech. We have a 23 megapixel um, sensor with um, f2.0, 24 millimeters wide angle lens, 1 over 2.3 inch uh, sensor size. And we have face detection autofocus system uh, together with contrast detection autofocus system uh, for a nice um, focusing. So this is basically the back, so I expect the same re results with the XA2 as with the X. When we take a look at the top, you can see nothing big changed here. The headphone jack, which is still available on the XA2, is uh, just on, another, on, on the other side. We have a microphone here, so we have two microphones, one on the bottom, one on the top, for cancelling noise, of course. And um, on the left side, both feature the pretty nice um, opening up mechanism for inserting a micro SD card or a nano SIM card, uh, which does not need any SIM ejecting tool or something like this, just a fingernail and you can put it in here and then pull it out. The same goes for the uh, XA2 basically. Pretty nice. <clears throat> then when it comes to the uh, internals, uh, just like for example the processor, of course, this one features an older processor, so we have a uh, Snapdragon uh, 650 in here, um, as, which is a hexa-core system, four 1.4 gigahertz chips and um, two 1.8 uh, Cortex-A72 chips, the faster chips, so four lower power chips and two faster powered chips. On the XA2, we have a hexa uh, we have a octa-core system, uh, Snapdragon 630, 40 nan nanometers and all um, octa-cores 2.2 gigahertz Cortex-A53. Then we have um, 
Adreno 510, Adreno 58 in terms of GPU power this has a little bit more than this one here. Uh, internal space is 32 gigabytes, 3 gigabytes of RAM, um, upgradable via micro SD card. You can use up to 256 gigabytes if you'd like to. And yeah, the rest is basically the same. There's nothing much to say about it. Just like, for example, Wi Fi both support uh, Wi Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, so A, B, G, N, A, C st standard. Um, this one supports Bluetooth 5, this only 4.2 and uh, GPS, GPS GLONASS is on board uh, as well as FM radio support and uh, both feature a fingerprint reader as I showed you before. There's nothing else much different on those two devices. So basically the XA2 is a nice upgrade to the X device if you already have an X device running with Selfish X. There is not really a reason to upgrade to the XA2 for now. We'll see how it will look like when Alien Dalvik will land on the XA2 from the software side of things. This might change stuff because this will get uh, better Android support in Selfish X. Um, maybe we will see how this will go out. And uh, yeah, this is basically everything for this little comparison between those two devices. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, click the like button and subscribe, of course, for more Selfish uh, OS videos. And yeah, this is everything for this um, little uh, comparison. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.